it's normal to worry. Everyone does it. If you feel worried about your grades or anything else, realize that it's a very, very normal human emotion. I had a friend once, he told me that when people have nothing to worry about, they create new problems and then they worry about those. It's really kind of an interesting comment because if you look at people in the world, people who are perhaps what you consider to be more successful than you, whatever it may be, maybe they're smarter than you, maybe they have more money than you, maybe they're famous, maybe they have a really good job and you don't. Those people also worry. You might ask yourself why they have it all. Nobody has it all. As human beings, we're wired to worry and we're wired to want more, no matter how much we have. In this video, I'm going to help you get over your worries. We're going to talk about why you don't really need to worry about your grades. The first step is to ask yourself why you're worried. If you're worried about grades, chances are you're worried you're not going to do well on your test and you're going to get a bad grade in your class. No one wants that, right? Why would you want <laughs> a bad grade? So the natural human emotion is to say, oh yeah, I'm worried because I'm going to fail my class and I haven't been doing well. So therefore I am worried about that. That's the first step. Identify why you're worried. The second step is to realize that your thoughts are normal and recognize that your thoughts are normal. Accept your worries. Recognize that you are worried and tell yourself, I am worried because I am going to fail. I am worried because I am not going to do well in this class. By accepting that it's okay to have these feelings and that these feelings are normal and they, they just seem very human to me. I mean, everyone worries. You're a human, so you're going to have these normal human thoughts. That alone right there will make you realize that, in some sense, there's no need to worry because it's just simply an emotion. The trick is to turn this emotion into action. So you're worried. You recognize that you are worried. You're self-aware of it. You know it's a normal human emotion. So now what you want to do is you want to act on that emotion. Instead of worrying about the future and worrying about what might happen, what you need to do is you need to take those worries and turn them into action, solid action. So if you are studying for a test and you're having a hard time, tell yourself there's no need to worry because worry is not going to help you. What's going to help you is obviously doing the things that are necessary in order to succeed in any class. That includes going over the notes if you have notes, watching videos, doing homework problems, contacting your professor if possible, doing whatever it takes. You want to take all of that negative emotion, that emotion of worry, and turn it into something positive, turn it into positive actions. You'll find, and this is very normal and perhaps a very obvious thing to feel, that the more prepared you feel for your test, the less worried you're going to become. And this is normal because if you're worried about not doing well in a test, the more you prepare, the less worry you'll actually have. But again, through this process, the real key to defeating the worrisome feelings is to recognize that you're worried and it's just an emotion, right? Everyone in the world worries about stuff. It's completely normal. So turn it into positive action. I want to emphasize that you can use this worry to turn it into a very positive force. And that's typically what I would do. And I think that's what a lot of people do without thinking about it. If I had a test coming up, I really wouldn't worry about the test. Instead, I would focus on learning as much as possible so that I could be ready for the test so I could do well. The worry factor comes into play when you lack confidence, when you feel like you can't do it. Realize that there's no point in having those feelings. And those feelings are normal and they're going to come, but you really have to just try to push them away and focus on what you can control. You can control one thing, 
That's the present. You can control your actions now. So you control whether or not you sit down and do 50 integrals in calculus. Like you can do that, right? You can sit down right now and you can just do math problems for hours, right? That's a choice that you can make and you can control that. And if that helps eliminate your worries, that's what you need to do, right? Do whatever it takes to help those worries go away before your test. Sometimes people worry after they've taken exams. And there's a really easy way to stop doing that. What I would always do is, as soon as I walked out of that testing situation, I would tell myself that my grade does not matter. That's right. So despite all of that insane work to help protect my grade before taking the exam and during the exam, as soon as I walked out of every exam, it's like I flipped a switch. I would tell myself, the test is over. There's nothing I can do because it's the past. And the fact is, you cannot change the past, right? You just can't do it. Once something has happened, you, you can't undo it, right? We can't go back in time. So there's nothing you can really do once you've taken the test. And that's really when the worrying, if you have any worries, should stop. So if you're in a situation where you've taken a test and you're worried about your grade, stop. Realize that it is what it is. I hate that expression, but it is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it, right? It's just the way it is, it's been done. And so there's no point worrying about it. I remember long ago, I took a, a final exam in college algebra and I didn't do as well as I wanted. And I remember driving home and just feeling defeated. I felt that I did the best I could and I just, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't get the grade I wanted. And I was right, I didn't get the grade I wanted. I wanted to get an A in the class and I ended up getting a B. And it was just completely on me. It just wasn't good enough. And I remember that drive home very, very well. It was a long time ago, but I remember that that feeling of, of being defeated, of, of just trying as hard as I could and I just couldn't grasp it. By the time I got home, that feeling was gone and all feelings of worry were gone. I wasn't worried about what grade I was going to get in the class because I knew that there was nothing I could do about it, right? It was the past. Remember, there's no point in worrying about grades. Grades are important. They do matter, right? They mainly matter for college admissions and for scholarships. Those are the two main reasons I think that grades really matter. There's probably others out there, but off the top of my head right now, those are the main two that really, really matter, right? They matter for scholarships. I've seen people get scholarships because they have certain grades, and I've seen people not get scholarships because they have certain grades. It's just the way of the world, and there's nothing we can do to change that. And the emphasis placed on grades might be something that you might agree with, or it might be something you disagree with. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. All we can do is cope with the rules that are placed upon us by society and stop worrying about grades. Remember, take that negative energy, take those worries and turn them into positive action. Study as much as you can, do the best you can, but as soon as you perform on that test, you need to walk out of that room and tell yourself, it really doesn't matter, because at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter that much. There's more important things in life than grades. I hope this video has been helpful to you, and good luck, try to get a good grade.